Hey guys, it's me Keisha here, the Enchanted Dreamcatcher and welcome. Oh, I got cramp in my foot. <laughs> I just ruined that intro. I've got cramp in my foot. <laughs> I've been filming like been on a bit of a filming spree and sitting cross-legged on my floor and obviously that's just made one of my feet go to sleep. But anyway, aside from that, welcome to my channel if you're new here i post videos twice a week on a wednesday and a friday on all things magic uh all things magic beauty fun and everything in between so without further ado let's get started and i have a book review which is always one of my favorite types of videos to do and to watch i do really enjoy especially when they're books on spirituality and magic i do really enjoy like people what people have thought on the books they've read and also like um reviews uh um well um recommendations all that type of stuff so yeah so without further ado let's get started and the book I'm going to be reviewing is BAM <laughs> is Wicker by Harmony Nice I will link below my video I did a book overview on this so I will link that below if you're interested and yeah so let's get started so this book Overall, I did really like it. I have a couple of niggly things, but overall, I definitely would recommend this book. More so for if you have just stumbled, apro stumbled across like Wicca and witchcraft and paganism, I would say this is a good, good contender for a starter book. If you, like myself, have been a practitioner for years, you will find this book very basic but if you're like me and enjoy sort of checking out all the new sort of beginner books then you probably will really enjoy flicking through this and it's a very pleasing to the eye book it looks lovely on your bookshelf and yeah it's something that you could dip in and out of so let's talk about the good stuff then and I wanted to say that I'm not biased just because I went to see Harmony Nice on a talk and got this book signed. This is my honest review and my thoughts. So what I love about this book, I love that it is, oh you can't really see, I don't know why I did that. I love that it's split into parts. So this book is in three parts that has chapters within each part so there's part one which is what is wicker part two ex why explore wicker and part three how to get started and so i love as well that the contents is easily laid out and i also like that i could easily flick to i don't know wiccan paths in part one that's on page 43 i love that it's very easily laid out i also like that she's included her story as well at the beginning so i feel like you sort of get to know her a little bit more um i like that each chapter within a part is small well i, I kind of like that that it's not too in depth it's like gives you a taster which i really like so for example for divination there's like a page on tarot there's like half a page on runestones and half a page on scrying and palmistry and I like that. I love the, I'm trying to show you but I don't know why you've seen it. I love the black and white illustrations that are littered throughout the book. I think they're really pretty. I really, really like that. I love that's one of my favorites and that one's really pretty so I love 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 that um I yeah so I like that I can just sort of dip in and out of this book I like that it covers a little bit but I can go myself and find something else if I want to know more in depth or if i've come if i've come across an idea in here like for example i'm looking at sabbats and actually i'm on 
I've just flipped to Maybon, which is the next album coming up, which wasn't intentional, it just happened. So I like that she's got When Is Maybon. She has a little, she has a paragraph explaining what it is. And then she has um, a little bit on how to celebrate it. And she's listed a couple of different activities and altar ideas and like food and drink and sort of crystals and herbs and incense like associated with that Sabbath. So I like that it gives me an idea of things that I could do. And then I can just go to another book if I want something a bit more in depth, which I think is really cool. I feel like she's pretty much covered everything for witches that are just starting out. Um, she's sort of got a bit on spell work. Uh, she's included a few spells, but I also like as well that her, I mean, the spells don't actually start until like page 160. I like that she sort of covered all the other important tenants of magic before she sort of just before she jumped into spells because i find that some books on like wicca and witchcraft not spell books but books on the topic i feel sometimes that they put so much emphasis on the spells and stuff and include them right at the beginning and especially for beginner witches i don't always think that that is a good idea i think like you need to get the basics of magic first and then sort of uh you know start looking at spells and things like that so she's got a few different simple spells um like things like house blessing and banishing purification like self-love and that sort of stuff there really isn't very many spells about four spells um and she's list has a list of a few different crystals and plants and things like that There's a bit like on astrology and about reading altars and stuff like that so i will talk about now what i don't particularly like the resources oh you can't see why am i doing this you can't bloody see you probably can see a little bit that's it for resources for recommended books she's listed four books i know this is i think there's been other um, other people that have reviewed this book have had the same sort of bugbear is that in the resources she's listed four books three books are by scott cunningham and one by sky alexander and that's it i can see why see if that was me i think i would have listed more books but whereas i feel like for resources for people start for which you're starting out i know you should be doing your own research and stuff but i feel like if you're only going to list four books then I feel like three of them shouldn't be by the same author and resources. I mean, if she was listing ten books, then fair enough. But I feel like if you're only going to list four, then I probably would have only had one by Scott Cunningham and then had the other two that she'd used that his baby used different authors. Um, she lists a few YouTubers, which is cool. Um, a few online websites, a few shops, but I feel like the resources bit is lacking i can see why she did it and it's not it's not an awful bad thing i just feel i just would have liked a bit more sort of like resources i think but that's probably my main mm, yeah that's probably my main bugbear i do find the book very very basic which is good i mean I feel like I'm contradicting myself because I was just like, oh, I really like that there's only like, the chapters are really small and there's only like a few paragraphs or a paragraph on certain things. But at the same time, I, I get why she's done it because obviously for witches that are just starting out, it is actually a really good idea because it doesn't overwhelm them by having like 20 pages on tarot or something. But I feel like maybe she could have gone a little tiny bit more in depth so yeah but then at the same time i don't know if that's because i'm not a new witch and obviously this sort of, this is targeted at primarily at sort of like new witches so i don't know because i've been practicing for so long whether it's just a bit lacking for me but i do I do really, I do, overall, if I had to give this out of 
10 stars I'd probably give it a seven seven and a half so it is it is a really good book it's beautifully done the concept of it's lovely the artwork is stunning i really like that it's hardback it's just nice and durable i do like i like how the book's laid out with the different parts and things like that inside i just wish that it was a tiny bit more in depth i feel like bits of it are a bit lacking and i feel like some of it just feels like it's stuff that's been covered before but then it is a beginner's book and it is what it says on the tin so yeah so i would definitely recommend this book i would be reaching for this book um every so often it's not like it wouldn't be my go-to book for looking at for i don't know like looking at things and things like that but i do really like it it will have pride of place on my bookshelf yeah so it is a good book so i'd love to know what you think if you've read wicker by harmony nice like what your thoughts are if you have the same bugbears that i do like if you love the prettiness of this book i'd love to know so yeah comment below or if you've done videos on it then link them below because i'd love to check them out so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted